Well, two weeks after the province announced the dissolution of Peel Region, Mississauga City Councilors will be discussing the divorce. CB24's Beatrice Vaisman joins us live in what is Peel Region for now. B. Yeah. Good morning, Jamie. Uh, in any divorce, it's the children that are impacted. And, and for the sake of this analogy, the children are the employees of the region of Peel who are certainly going to be impacted by this divorce. Let's bring in Councillor Brad Butt, who has uh, backed a motion by Councillor Parrish to get the province to expedite the process to approve the transition board. Why? Well, because I think we want to send a message to the uh, employees at the Region Appeal that they're valued, that we've appreciated all the work that they've done, that we want to give them some sense of stability as we, as we move forward. The only way we can do that is the province has to get on with this process. ASAP um, so that we can find out what are the rules going to be, how is the quote unquote divorce going to be handled, and how do we deal with all of these issues, including the employees at the region appeal. There's more than 5,000 of them. How many is your understanding that might actually lose their jobs in this process because they're no longer needed because of duplication? Mm -hmm. Well, there, there will be some. Uh, I'm hoping there won't be a lot, but there will, there will be some. We still have to deliver the same services. It's just that Mississauga will deliver some of the services directly that the region appeal has traditionally delivered. Waste management's a good example. Garbage uh, uh, is one that's at the region right now, which I would assume each municipality will have to mm -hmm. contract themselves and, and work on. So there's other uh, all kinds of other services that we have to continue to provide for our residents and businesses, and we're going to need employees to do that. Mm -hmm. So hopefully. Hopefully most of the employees from the region can find work in Mississauga or Brampton or Caledon as independent municipalities because again those services still have to be provided. They've got families, they've got mouths to feed. How tough mm -hmm. is this uncertainty? They're essentially in limbo right now until Jan 1, 2025. Yeah and that's the, that's the tough part about all of this and that's why we, we really need the province to get on with it, get moving ASAP on this process, appoint those facilitators, start to sit down with all the parties are involved, the three municipalities plus the region, to figure out how we can deliver all of these services and see the, the human resources that we're going to need to do that work. As far as you know, has the Mayor Council heard from the province since this divorce announcement two weeks ago about when the transition board is coming, how long it's going to take to actually find those five people to be on the board? Yeah, I don't believe so. And of course, the Hazel McCallion Act, which is the, the bill going through the legislature right now that will actually create the divorce or the dissolution of the region appeal uh, hasn't finally passed in the legislature yet either and re received a royal assent so we'll have to wait till that's done and then everything I think will flow from there but I really hope the province within the next month or so gets these folks appointed so that we can start working with them to get this process underway. You've got to take care of your people right? Councillor Broadbutt yeah. thank you so much for your time. I'll let you get to the meeting. Okay. I see all the other councillors already okay. seated. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. So again uh, January 1st 2025 there will officially be the dissolution of Peel Region. It will not exist anymore, Jamie. Mississauga, Brampton, and Caledon will all be individual municipalities at the time. It's just the process to get there. Some 18 months to go.